like everything in the church ain't the same wrong. Like, uh -huh. If they wouldn't have anything in the church, they'd be right. 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 they where the Passover at, man? In uh, 22. Better get 23? We're 22. Right. New 20. No, I'm talking about the, the, the day and the time. He told us what, what day to do it. Leviticus 23. Oh, Leviticus. Yeah, for us. They're talking about what he's talking about. Oh, yeah. Well, let's hit both of them. Let's hit both of them. What we got? Uh, Leviticus 23. I'm in trouble. You got it? All right, bro. Nice to meet you, man. What's your name, brother? What's your name, man? Sean? Yeah. All right, bro. Y'all together? Y'all together? Yeah, buddy. Hey, buddy. Y'all together? Y'all together? Y'all together? Oh, you finna go with him? Oh, I'm gonna stay right here then, man. Don't go nowhere. That's what I need to know. You got a phone? Don't go nowhere. Yeah. You feel lost, though? Yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson, he was only doing that. What's up? Oh, I ain't gonna die by home. I can die for him. Yo, you can tell, man. Yeah, you can tell by the spirit, man. That's why the Lord say you try to feel by the spirit, man. So I can tell by the spirit, man. When you humble, man, that's why the Bible tell you, man. When you go with folks, keep that foot, man. You know what I'm saying? I just went through so much. I don't know what. I ain't gonna die. They ain't gonna burn anything. It just sound like Yeah, you need to come on back, bro. And I'm not talking about like what you learning. And I mean, I'm talking about come back to who you are. Your nationality is in this book, man. Who the children of Israel according to the Bible, bro. And we supposed to be out here teaching the world, man. That's why the world's so jacked up, because the real Israelites ain't teaching. They in captivity right they now. They say you want a black person learn that put it in the book. Put it in the book. Exactly. Wait, what it say? Best way to put black man put it in the book. I was just talking somebody. Yeah, I don't like it. It took me nine months. I did nine months in jail. I just found out. I told you. Mm -hmm. Did you see in the scriptures that it said we was going to captivity by ship? You ain't see that? Let us show you that right quick yeah. before you leave. So, I, so we can prove to you that. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now the word Egypt. I didn't eat you. You know what I'm saying? I eat slaves. Let's just see that. Let's confirm. That's in 22. Part one. We make it 13 to do it. Oh, 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 I was on the phone with you, man. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. I was like, what in the world? I know, man. You still got to deal with it. That one. I know. 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 We understand it. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, they can go play whatever, man. But I guarantee you, dog, when it all go down, you cannot say you. That's all my Oh, Juju. Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Brought thee out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What is it? Exodus 20 and 2. Go ahead. 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of Egypt again, go ahead. Out Bye. of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. So we let you know Egypt means house of bondage according to the scripture. So now let's go back to Deuteronomy 20 and 6 there. Let's see All right. Say. And the Lord shall bring well, thee into Egypt again. Into the house of bondage again, go ahead. With ships. With ships. Who came into Egypt for captivity by ships? We did. So it was has Louis been disrespectful? He was getting back out. It wasn't Africa. It was Nigga. No. I know. Africans been going to captivity. Africans had us in slavery. Matter of fact, you go to Exodus 1 and 11, you'll see that they made us work. Ooh, they, they made us to serve with rigor and hard bondage. I'm going to hold that real quick. So you said with the what Africans. Yeah, Africans never mind. Yeah. Matter of fact, where my Babylon? There you go. Ham. I'm about to see if he has Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. They all replenished the, they all replenished the earth after the flood, right? What? This is Ham. This is Noah's son, Ham. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became progenitor, or father, of the dark races. Not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, right, the Ethiopians, Negro, Libyans, African, and Canaanites. Canaanites. Oh, so Those the dark races, right. not the Negroes. But not the Negro. Not the Negro. Not me and you. We're called Negro. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's right. even in the Bible Dictionary. It's everywhere. Right. So let's Bible Dictionary. In the year 65, this book called Babylon. Oh, Matter of fact, give me Exodus 1 and 11, man. Let's see here. I ever took it. Right. 
Uh, that was the place where we was at. Where, where, where was that, right? Ancient Molly. Ancient Molly. No, that was uh, like West Africa. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. These sandwiches. Right. Now, in, in, this, in this right here, in the year 65 BC, the Roman army, army uh, General Pompey captured Jerusalem in 70 AD. I'm sorry, Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state with great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa. They went in Africa, where were they originally from? They had to run into Africa. They were in Israel. They fled into Africa. They saved them from Africa. Right. They fled into Africa, fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. That was us that fled into Africa. I got a picture of that too much. Is it joy? Is it like? Give me uh, oh, uh, uh, a. Oh, Exodus 1 right here. Exodus 1. 11. Exodus 1. 1 and 1 in the side. Exodus 1, verse 8. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. Uh -huh. And he said unto his people, uh -huh. Behold, the people and children of Israel are more and mightier okay, than we. So, so he said, Behold, the people and children of Israel are more and mightier than we, right? So go ahead and keep reading that. Slide on, baby. What is that? Come on. Come. Let us deal with wisely with them. Come and let us deal wisely with them. Go ahead. Lest they multiply. Lest they multiply. And it comes to pass uh -huh. that when they're falling out in any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. Right, so they said, come on, let us deal wisely with the children of Israel. Unless they multiply and if a war break out, they're going to come against us. So we need to get rid of them because they start now to grow us. Just like the day we start now to grow. So what they got to do, they have to invent certain things to get rid of them. Keep reading, bro. Let's see what they did to us. So get them up out of the land. Uh -huh. Therefore, they did not set over them taskmasters. No, they what did. they did? They did what? They set over them taskmasters. They set over them taskmasters. Go ahead. To afflict them with their burdens. To afflict them with their burdens. Go ahead. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities. We the one built those we cities. Built the we built that, not the Egyptians. The Africans, I mean the uh, Negroes and the Israelites are the ones who built those treasure cities. Keep reading, brother. Didn't the slaves build this? Didn't the slaves build it here? Did yeah. the ancestors build That's this right. land up? That's right. Same thing. That's the people right. who enslaved back then was the one that built it. Right. right. And no they, different. So they was like, oh, no oh, oh, they built that so good. Let's go ahead and bring them over to this land and let them build this land. Now they done got so much out of you. They finished with you. Now they don't need these no more, so you can't get no time. They let the other people come. They done with you now. They let the Mexicans. Yeah, right. That's the right here. All the slavery from Israel also different parts of Africa, man. Whoa! He even tells you in the book in Zephaniah 3.10, it says, from beyond the river Kush, so we are really not there. No, you're not there. Africa come from Leo City, you're African. White Roman general that conquered the land of hand. Just like they go yeah, around the world about that conquering land. Yeah, look, when they conquer land. Hey, come on one second right quick. Look, look, look at this. I want you to see something. Right 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 just like, like we just just like we just read. How they right? put us in slavery, right? Yeah. Yeah. Get all the different things up. Hold that thought. I'm gonna come back to you. I want you to see how what they did. This is what called the hold the pale horse, bro. Now let's see what they did to get rid of us because we starting out to grow them again. In 1969, four years before the World Health Organization uh, request, the United States Defense Department requested and got $10 million to make the AIDS virus labs as a political ethnic weapon to be used mainly against blacks. Okay, so one of the ways they did it also besides AIDS, also abortion. Also put guns and dope in the neighborhood. They don't shoot each other off and get rid of each other. All right, so I, I know you got a ride, man. So, you know, man, thank you for listening, bro. You know, we're going to come back, man, no matter what. We're going to stay and keep coming back till y'all get it, man. You asked the question just now about uh on the app application. Um, uh, no. No, that's that's not true. He came from Little City, uh, after he came from Little City, Africano. He was a Roman general. He was trying to pay off the thing. He got one too. He just decided to get messed up. He didn't already know nothing because we're really not African. No, we're not African.
Oh, oh, man. You're, you're Israel. Yeah, you're Israel. Yeah, you're Israel. Yeah, you're Israel. Yeah, you're Israel. Right, right. Yeah. And then also, like we read earlier, where it said, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So what they did was they consulted with each other and, and agreed to deceive us. Now, they couldn't do it without the power of the Lord. The Lord wanted to say, I'm going to continue from the heritage. So really, when you look at it, you can't blame nobody else. The Most High is the one that is upset with us because he gave us his law, statutes, and commandments to teach this whole world. You know what I'm saying? Give me Psalm 785, man. Somebody give me Psalm 147, 1920. If I was not doing what we're supposed to do, man, now we sitting over here. Captivity. We poor, ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? Broke. And then, and then and I, and I don't know if y'all know this, man, when you look in the NFL and the NBA and all that type of stuff and all the rappers and stuff, man, we the entertainment. We the entertainment. We the one that running and all man. Where you going? Huh? You want to go? Okay, man. Hey, man, you read your Bible, man. Read. Know that the Bible is talking about you, man. All right? What you got? Psalm 7 and 5? Psalm 7 and 5. Somebody hit me up on the right. Psalm 7 and 5. So he established a testimony in Jacob. So he established a testimony in Jacob, man. Jacob was our forefather. His name was later changed to Israel. Go ahead. And appointed a law in Israel. And appointed a law in Israel. That's where the Lord gave the law and statutes and uh, commandments to us. Can you read Which he commanded our fathers. Which he commanded our fathers. Go ahead. That they should make them known unto their children. Right, so they supposed to taught us this. Our fathers went off and went astray, man. So by them going astray, guess what? Now we going astray. And we teaching our kids the same exact thing. But now we starting to wake up and turn back. But up until this time, man, we completely went astray. He gave it to us. He's got Psalm 147, 19. Psalm 149, Psalm 147, 19. Go ahead. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob. Go ahead. The statutes and his judgments unto Israel. There you go again. The statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Go ahead. We have not dealt so with any nation. We have not dealt so with any nation. Go ahead. And as for his judgments. And as for his judgment, go ahead. They have not known them. They have not known them. We the only ones got them. There ain't no other nation got this, man. What it said is? Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord, man. So praise the Lord that we finding out that we the one that had the law statutes and commandments. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so hard on us, man. You got to think about it. I Man, I, uh, I, I, we never, we never finished uh, 2868, so I want to reread it. Okay. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. We saw Egypt means house of God. Go ahead. By the way that whereof I spake unto thee, right. thou shalt see it no more again. Right. So we weren't gonna see Egypt again, the other Egypt that we was in bondage to. We gonna see another Egypt now. And the other Egypt we saw, he put us on ships and sent us everywhere. Go ahead, read. All right. And there shall be sold unto your enemies. Read that part again, part. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Uh, mm -hmm. No. For, yeah. for bond men and bond women. There you shall be sold unto your enemies. That was us being sold on them slaves. But the Lord had already called this for it even happened. Go ahead. And, you, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. There you shall be sold unto your enemies for male slaves and female slaves. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall free you. Ain't nobody gonna get you out of your condition until he get back. But right now you serving out of punishment. You getting whooped because of what your forefathers did. They didn't teach you right. So guess what? By them not teaching you right and not doing what they're supposed to do, then all of us had to come into captivity. The whole family. The Lord said the whole head is sick. Why do you even have to put us in captivity anymore? It ain't working. Seems like the more and more I break, the more and more I put trouble on you, you get worse. And that's exactly what happened to us, man. We get worse and worse and worse. We always out sin the sinner. Somebody say, man, guess what? I got a new thing. I'm going to break the law, man. I'm going to come up with a new way to sin. You say, get out of the way. Get out of the way. I got you. Let me show you how to really go against our God. So we serving our captivity right now. But the good news is, give me Mark 1 and 15, man. But the good news is, is that it's about the end, man. Give me something 21 to 24, somebody. If I see you, to get you out of what's going on, man. A lot of destruction going to take place, man. A lot of destruction going to take place, man. A lot of this, what you got, Mark 1 and 15? Mark 1 and 15. Go ahead. 
and saying the time is fulfilled. And saying the time is fulfilled. Go ahead. And the kingdom of God is at hand. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Go ahead. Repent ye. Repent. Turn away from. Go ahead. And believe the gospel. And believe the gospel, man. So now you got to get into this word and get on the stand, man, and realize, like I told you, it's talking about us. You got to believe the gospel, man, because if you don't believe it, you're going to wake up either one or two to the kingdom or the lake of fire. Don't take your chance with the lake of fire. A lot of people just put it off as some type of game that don't exist. It exists, and it's coming. When he return, man, all the ones who went against him take that mark, man, and don't do what he say, man, that's your, that's your destiny. Get ready for it. That's your destiny, man. It's going to be eternal burning. Eternal. Or you can do what the Father said, man, and have eternal life. And live, man. Because originally, man, that was the plan for us to have eternal life. We were never supposed to die. We weren't supposed to die, man. We supposed to be like God. Give me Psalm 82 and 6, man. We supposed to be like God. I gave you something, bro. Luke 21 and 24. Go ahead and read that. Luke 21 24. Go ahead. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Go ahead. And, she, and shall be led away captive. And shall be led away captive. Go ahead. Into all nations. Into all nations. So that's what happened with us. We were led away captives into all nations. Go ahead, bro. And Jerusalem uh -huh. shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So the Gentile rulership is what's going to determine when we get free. When their rulership is done, then we coming out of captivity. Guess what? The rulership is almost done. That rulership is almost up. That's why they coming with the new world order. Because their kingdom is almost finished, but they're trying to continue their kingdom. When Christ get back, he's going to destroy all of them. Give me Psalm 82 and 6. Somebody. Psalm 82 and 6. Go ahead. I have said, ye are gods. I have said, ye are gods. So we were, we, we, we were gods. We were supposed to act in that way. We were supposed to live in that way. But we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. Go ahead and read. And all of you are children of the Most High. And all of you are children of the Most High. Go ahead. Seven. Uh-huh. But you shall die like men. But you're going to die like men now. Since you want to break the law, statutes, and commandments. And when Adam went, went wrong, guess what? Now you're going to die like men. But before that, he said, let us make man in our image. So we're supposed to be just like God. You understand what I'm saying? But now we're going to die like men because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. The first thing was eating the fruit of lies, going against what the Lord told Adam and Eve not to do. And he brought death on every man. Our job is to come back here and give you invitation back. Give me Matthew 22 and 9. Give you invitation back to eternal life. You and your children, if you have any. When you do get old enough to have any, you got a girlfriend, tell her the truth, the truth. We the children of Israel. What you got, Matthew 22 and 9? Matthew 22 and 9. Go ahead. Go ye therefore into the highways. So we got to go into the highways. Go ahead. And as many as ye shall find. As many as ye shall find. Go ahead. Then to the marriage. Then to the marriage. But guess what? Christ getting ready to return, man. Christ getting ready to return. And you got to get ready. You gotta get ready. When he come back, man, it's gonna be ugly, man. But if you made a decision, man, to follow the law, statutes, and the commandments, come under that blood, man, you're gonna be good. Back to back into eternal life, man. And he gonna come back looking just like us. Just like us. And the Israelites look just like him. Got the thing, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Matthew 5, 17, man. Go ahead. Said, think not, think not that I that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. We don't come to destroy the law. The law. He didn't come to say you can not be worshipped or you can not worship on Sunday. He didn't come to do those things. He came to fulfill the law. He right. said, we did not come to destroy the law. We came to fulfill the law. For verily I say unto you, to heaven and earth, how you see one job. Until heaven and earth pass, not one jot or one tittle, and no wise shall pass from the law until all be fulfilled. We still got heaven, we still got earth, but the law still remains. But the capacity to remain, we are not going to the law anymore. The law is the law. Ain't that what they say, Michelle? The law is the law. But Jesus said, I didn't come to do it. They don't let me back. Yeah, I should have brought some more. Wait, Brother Tony brought something. I don't know. Daddy, is she asking for water? Yeah. Hey, no, basically, something just a whole life. Go in the car, man. Get my car. My little car should be next to the floor. Right between the two. But then you probably want to follow. It's going to have the scriptures on it. Revelation 26, 14. It says, Blessed are they that do this commandment, that they might have right to the true life, the true life of Jesus. So when you do his commandments, you're going to have right to Jesus. 
And poverty. And poverty. I understand your, your situation. Look around the room. Oh my God! But like it's like some poverty. Get too heavy for me. Go ahead and read. Yeah. But thou art rich. But thou art rich because of our heritage. Because of the Father being uh, uh, Christ coming out of our, our lineage, man. Okay? That He gave the law, statute, and commandment to us. Go ahead. And I know the blessing of them. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. We say they are Jews and are not. And are not. But are the synagogue. But are the synagogue to say. So those people who are not the good news. First John 2. 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 Whoever. I'm already there. Are you done? Yeah. Hey. He that said, for I know him. Nah, bring it up. Verse 1. One. My little children, uh -huh. these things I write unto you uh -huh. that you sin not. Uh -huh. Sin not, bro. Go ahead. And if any man sin, uh -huh. we have an advocate with the Father. Right, you have an advocate with the Father. He got the connection. You know, Christ is that advocate. Go ahead. Jesus, Jesus Christ the righteous. Uh -huh. And he is the propitiation of our sins. Right, so he the one gonna step up and give you that right back to eternal life. Okay? Go ahead. And not for ours only. And not for ours only, but for who? But also for the sins of the whole world. For the sins of the whole world. Go ahead. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. So how do we know him? If you keep his commandments. That's how you know him if you keep his commandments. Keep reading, brother. He that says I know him. He that said I know him. Go ahead. And keep not his commandments. And keep not his commandments. Is a liar. Is a liar. So the scripture calls you a liar. If you ain't keeping his commandments, keep reading. And the truth is not in him. The truth ain't in him. So when people say, I know the Lord, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing him all these years. I've been doing what it. You don't know the Lord. If you ain't keeping his commandments, you don't know the Lord. You ain't going to church. You really. You really. I mean, and you go around and you, you telling them what you learned from church. You want to see me? Yeah. Basically so. Let's give you first John 3 and 4 right there. Yeah, really so, yeah. 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 Just the ball. Go ahead. Stand right up. Whosoever committed the sin, whosoever committed sin, go ahead. Transgresses also the law. Transgresses also the law. Go ahead. But sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is transgression of the law. Do that. First John five. For sin is transgression of the law. You understand what I'm saying? What is transgression? Breaking the law. So you can make that this twenty. And let's see what you got. First John five. Yeah. Go ahead and read. Yeah. Whosoever believes that Jesus is a Christ is born of God. Go ahead. And everyone that loveth him, that begat love, love of him also, that is begotten of him. Go ahead. By this we know that we love the children of God. Uh -huh. When we love God, and keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. So that's how you know you love God and the children, God, by keeping his commandments. Keep reading. For this is the love of God. For this is the, is the love of God. Go ahead. That we keep his commandments. That we do away with his commandments. 
That we keep his that commandment. That we walk away from his commandment. Oh, we keep his commandment. That we do what we want to do on Sunday. We celebrate Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving, and tell the Lord we don't want to do what you say. Your law is done away with. Is that what the book just said? What the book say? That we keep his that commandments. That we keep his commandments. Okay. Look for his okay. uh, Now give me Exodus 20. What, what, you finish that verse? No. What is it? And his commandments are not grievous. His commandments ain't grievous. Oh, ain't nothing wrong with keeping the commandments. It's so, what, what's wrong with not sleeping with your, your boy girl, your boy wife? What's wrong with not stiffing? You understand? What's wrong with not lying? What's wrong with not being covered? What's wrong with not committing adultery? What's wrong with resting on the Sabbath day in the word of God? What's wrong with that? But the same way Satan deceived Eve and got her man to go against Christ, that's the same way your pastor deceiving you got you going against Christ. The Lord said keep the Sabbath. He said, no, you keep Sunday, the first day. The Lord said honor my death. He said, no, you honor his birth, which you can't find in the Bible at all. He said keep feast and tabernacle and pass up. He said, no, you're going to keep Easter. Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving. Abomination. And Memorial Day. You understand what I'm saying? So the same spirit that was alive, give me that, uh, to see the whole world. Revelation 13, that's see, man, because a lot of people don't realize that he deceived all of us. And a lot of us still under deception right now. What you got, Revelation 13? Revelation 12. Oh, yeah, okay. And there was war in heaven. Uh -huh. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against the fought him. Fought and his angels, uh -huh. and prevailed not. Neither was their place found in heaven anymore. Mm -hmm. And the great dragon was cast out, uh -huh. that old serpent called the devil the and great, Satan. He was cast out. Go ahead. Which deceived the whole world. Which deceived some of the world. The whole world. Which deceived some people, but every, every, every person in this world. Every, the whole world. <laughs> so he tricked everybody. everybody. And just think about Everybody it. Everybody got to see. Go ahead, brother. What you got? And just think about it for a second. If if you were Satan, who do you, who do you attack first? The church. Yeah. And the church That's originally was Israel. Exactly. You go to every single one. What's your question? I got a question. Sir? Is it true that the pastor is the pastor of the church has to take over before they become pastor? Uh, I don't know how it goes in their school. You know what I'm saying? It's for our seminary school. Well, seminary is yeah, we, we don't know because we don't. Uh, well, we, we, definitely, we definitely know that there are scriptures that they stay away from, though. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 so if you mean open that yeah. way. I got, I got a book that I just finished. Yeah. I got a book that I just finished. It's called um, 360 Questions to Ask a Christian. Uh -huh. And what it's really doing is just breaking down like the first Bible. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know, Hebrew. And the King James Right. 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 And I got another book in here called uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, y'all, he's going to do that. 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 He's yeah, well, let me, let me, let me, let me read something real quick. Let me read Hey bro, I want you I want you to listen to something quick, man. This ain't about like no full black nothing. It's like, I'm gonna read the scripture to you real quick. It's salvation for everybody, man. Uh, Galatians 3 and 26 says, For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you, for many, for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. And here it's going to the promise. So it's like, it's, it's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Jews are black like us, but the Greeks are white. There's no difference. Any respected person, man. Salvation for anybody, though. However, we need to get the Jews, get, we need to get you guys right first. The so you can teach. Exactly. Because they only dealt with one nation to teach. Right. But that don't mean it's racist, it's just that he does things in order. Exactly. It just Come so on. happened that we happen to be the color of you. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm All saying? Right. So, what so you got? Good. Ask the question you don't highlight. <laughs> 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 right. Okay. Hold on, let me find one. Question five. Mm -hmm. It says, ask the Hebrew Israelites if the name Israel, the 
name of the tribe or the name of the tribe or the name of the tribe. They cannot answer this question because the first we say the first time the word is the word Israel appeals in the fifth book of Moses is where Jacob the son of Isaac and Rebecca, the second of a twin whose twin name was Esau, Esau was having his name changed from Jacob to Israel. Hold on. He said the next time we hear the same word Israel is in the exact chapter but in a later verse, Genesis 32, where it refers to the children of Israel. It's done, Mom. No, this would mean, according to these scriptures, not interpretation, but factually, that the children of Israel are Jacob's immediate family. Meaning, Jacob, 12 sons, and one Jacob's immediate family. Oh, hold on. Please. 12 sons and one daughter, who also became known as tribes of Israel, are simply the children of Jacob. Nothing more. That's true. We are the children of Jacob. And then he says, it is clear that the name Israel is not described as a tribe of all of the kids of the Bible from Adam down to the present day can claim that they are not the same. In fact, the statement, the tribe of But let me just let we me said it's not a tribe, an individual tribe. You right. said a person. Y'all said person. It was Jacob. Our forefather. Jacob had 12 the, tribes the, the, of Israel. Which is of somebody. Sons and one daughter. Right. But the 12 tribes, the, 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 the nations come out of the son. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The seed come out of the father. And, and you know what I was reading? Oh, so, yeah. You, you Hold on. But I was reading. 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 What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Uh -huh. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, uh -huh. but Israel. So that was our father that had his name changed. The one that just wrote that his name. So, 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 yeah, yeah, so, 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 what y'all have done? So, your children will be of God, but more than likely, they're their father. father name. Right. right. So, they're the children of Mr. whatever his last name is. Like my children are. Mr. Leonard. Oh, we are of uh, Israel. Our father. Right. What? We're going to be out here all night. Five, six, seven, eight, 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 six
Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him therefore a burnt upon the, one of the mountains which, which I tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saw his ass, and took two, two of his sons, young men, with him, and Isaac his son, and cleared the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went up to the place of God. Which, Place, place of which God has told him. Mm -hmm. So if he played the wood for the burnt offering, he has been a burnt offering. Played the wood for the burnt offering. So your question is, why would you want to burn it? Because you know you're going to test his faith, right? Why would you test his faith? That's all it is. Yeah, you're going to test his faith. They, they were going to let answer. They were saying to prove Abraham here, Jehovah, Yahweh. I mean, that was a good thing. Yeah, he did come. Okay, hold on. Question 13 says, Ashley, he's an Israelite. Yeah, how will you have known Abraham fear him and would do as he commanded? You can't ask me. You gotta ask me. What is it? The Bible, says, the Bible says faith without works is dead. You can't, you can't only just believe. No, 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 no because it's, it's uh, in the scriptures, uh, uh, it was an event that happened. And then it said that and then the Lord knew something uh, that go to show that he didn't know everything. Because it's saying, I'm just saying, because oh, okay. it's saying, and then the Lord knew that Abraham feared him. So evidently, he didn't know. It. But that's what he's trying to tell his mother to say. When she knew everything, the brother was a beast on that a couple weeks ago. Yes, evidently, the Lord knew. Because he's saying, I don't know everything. Yeah, when Abraham knew everything, he knew he was going to have to be sacrificed. Yeah, he knew he was going to have to be sacrificed. 
like, can I answer the question? Abraham and Timothy said, if I can answer it. I just answered it. Then I just answered it. Then I just answered it. Then I just answered it. And then he didn't know everything. That's why he said, then he knew. Let, let me, hold on. Yeah, I got, I got it right here. You got it? Hold on. Let's see what the book say. Genesis 22, verse 11. So the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon thy lad, neither do, thy, do, do, do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, and seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. So there it is. Like, you know, we just told you that, you know, he didn't know. To that, that he didn't know everything. I got a question that's made. I have a heart. Okay. Yeah. 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 You mean like even if he just know we want to pray, then we prayed already? Yeah, that's the question. Read it, read it. No, he got a... Meaning by him already knowing that she was in prayer. Why? Have you prayed already? Hey, what about you sit? Yeah, do you see? Yeah, 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 you see? Let's see the book says. Go ahead. Yeah. Take heed that you do not um that you do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Uh -huh. Otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven. Go ahead. Therefore, when thou doest thine arm, uh -huh. do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the street. Uh -huh. That they may that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have no reward. But when thou, but when thou do his arms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand do. That thine arms may be in secret, and thy father will see the secret, and thy father will see the secret himself. He's like, okay, you start keeping me out now. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. When thou prayest, right? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna tell you how to do it, right? right. So they so they well, they like, love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corners of the street. Right. right. So he's telling us what to do. Go ahead. Uh -huh. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy club. So when thou prayest, didn't they say, think about it, and I know you already want to pray. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, what it say? Enter into your club. Go ahead, get in your secret place. Get away from everybody. Don't try to show off in front of people. Go ahead. And when thou hast shut thy door, uh -huh. pray to thy father, which is in secret. Pray to thy father, which is in secret. Evidently, you got to pray. Go ahead. And thy father will see the secret of the Lord. Now keep on. And what he say do? Say, when he prays, use not vain repetition, uh -huh. as the heathens do. Go ahead. They think that they shall be heard for their much speak. Now what he say? Say. Say. Go ahead. What he say? How, what, what are we supposed to say? Go ahead. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask. Uh huh. After this manner, therefore, pray after ye. this manner, pray ye. Go ahead. Our Father. Our Father. Go ahead. Which is our name. Which is our name. Now, what's his name? And if he has a contrary to what we just said, he's going out. <laughs> they would have to. Hurry up! I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the book. 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 I'm in the he don't believe we're Hebrew. He, he yeah. said anybody could be Hebrew. He said because Hebrew just means, you know, anyone that crossed over. So anybody. I'm like, dude, we just, the Bible clearly distinct. Hebrew, African, Gentile. Got them all. Distinctive I got the books in there. He, he said his name was not Eve. It was. 
I got the book in there. Yeah. Just, just say how you know that. Just say how you know that. It was. Well, uh, don't. <laughs> no, I got the book. Y'all want me to go get the book? No, 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 hold on, hold on. No, man, it can't. Just, no, just you gotta get ready for school, man. Y'all go ahead and stop packing the things. How do you? Did he say how you know? Daddy. Who's saying this? Malachi, you're Oh, my God. I mean, yeah, all right? <laughs> I should have known, man. I was like, you wait a minute. What else you got? This Egypt talk. Y'all want another question? Yeah, go ahead. We just gotta pack up because I know that everybody gets it. It's like asking people is like. I don't know what I'm thinking. What? Asking people is like. Then, why does Genesis chapter 8, verses 21 through 20, 20 through 21 say, the Lord smells, hold on, it's two questions, I want, it's saying, the first question is, after he eats like, does God enjoy the smell of burning shit? Yeah. The answer is, they will again say no, however, based on Genesis 8 and many other places we can be done. Wow, we just see you. But it's, it's also a thing that he doesn't like. I'm going to show you right here. Let's go to Isaiah. So what, what was the original answer? What did you say? Yeah, right? You said y'all was supposed to say no. I know, but we said yeah. That's how. That's what I told you. It's different. It's different. Like that. We listen to the people. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let